have you ever noticed that we have two of almost everything? Two eyes, two ears, two hands, two legs, and yes, even your heart. Wait, did I say you have two hearts? Most people know there's only one heart, and that too on the left side of your chest. Yes, your calf muscles are the ones which work tirelessly to push the blood from your legs back towards the main heart, helping to keep your circulation strong and reduce the swelling and tiredness. And most of us just ignore them, thinking that the heart is the most important organ of our body. Yes, very true. But today, we are going to discover how to activate the secondary heart and why doing so can completely transform the way our legs feel the energy in the body and even your overall circulatory health. Now let us understand what is the secondary heart. Most people do not realize that the calf muscles are highly essential for circulation. These muscles which technically we called as gastrocnemius and soleus, they act like a natural pump for your veins. These muscles have large network of veins called as the venous sinuses within them. And these venous sinuses are connected to the deep veins of the leg. So every time the calf muscle contracts, they squeeze these veins and help to push the blood upward towards the heart and prevent it from collecting or pooling in your legs. And this is the reason why they are also referred as the second heart. The heart is a pump and your calf muscle acts as a pump to improve your venous flow. And Poor calf function can lead to other serious problems. When blood collects in the legs, it increases the pressure within the veins and which can lead to swelling, fatigue, varicose veins and even skin changes over time. This condition which we call as chronic venous insufficiency happens when the calf is unable to push the blood from the veins towards the heart. And this especially happens if the calf muscles remain inactive. This condition called chronic venous insufficiency is when the veins cannot efficiently return the venous blood towards the heart. It especially develops if the calf muscles are inactive. And this can further increase the risk of more serious problems, which may include deep vein thrombosis, which often can be dangerous and requires immediate attention. In India, studies show that almost over 30% of adults will experience some form of leg swelling or discomfort due to poor circulation. And this is true especially for those who have sedentary lifestyle. It may be desk job or spending time standing in the kitchen or even while doing your work. So longer hours of sedentary lifestyle can be very important to cause dysfunction in your calf muscle. And this is the reason why you should take care of your secondary heart. For people who have strong and active calf muscles, their blood flow is better, the overall discomfort is less, and this also supports the overall cardiovascular health. So your calf muscles are the unsung heroes of your body. They are quietly maintaining circulation and helping your heart work more efficiently. When we talk of athletes or young adults who appear healthy, even they can have some amount of leg fatigue and minor swelling if their calf muscles are underused. There are so many who would focus mainly on the upper body, forgetting the importance of the legs for circulation. So the steps that I'm showing in this video would be helpful for anybody and everybody, regardless of your age or activity level. So now moving forward, I'll tell you about simple ways to activate your secondary heart. Now, activating the calf muscles does not require complex equipment or hours at the gym. And one of the most simplest and yet effective ways to stimulate the calves is walking. Yes, every step that you take while you are walking, it compresses the veins in your leg and helps to push the blood towards your heart. Even short walks like walking in the kitchen, in your house, going to a nearby store, walking around in your office, these all smaller steps can improve your circulation significantly. And for people with desk jobs, standing and walking every hour. So if you're standing, walk around. If you're sitting, walk around. This is a simple habit that prevents blood from pooling in your legs. This also helps to reduce the ankle swelling. Remember that even while we are walking, the calf muscles will not work to a full range of movement. 
and that's when the second method is considered even more beneficial yes the second method are called as calf raises another highly effective exercise to activate your secondary heart and i'm showing a video about how we do a calf raise you can stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart and raise your legs and then lower them down slowly you can do this at least 10 to 15 times and you can do this exercise as many times as you wish this engages the calf muscles and strengthens them over time and the best part you can do it even while you're brushing your teeth even when you're cooking or maybe waiting for a lift so these smaller steps can make a big difference in your circulation we have many variants of calf raises that can be done to improve the complexity and we can activate the inner or outer part of the calf muscle as well. People who incorporate these simple exercises often note that their legs become lighter, the stiffness reduces and their swelling reduces within a few weeks. But for those who find that calf raises are difficult, here is another good alternative which we called as seated foot and ankle pumps and I'm showing how this exercise is done as well. You can be sitting and keep your legs stretched out, point the toes outward and then bring them up, hold for a few seconds and repeat this pumping movement several times. Now again, although a little less effective than the calf raises, this ankle pump also helps to stretch and strengthen your calf muscles. This exercise is even suitable for people who are elderly or possibly recovering from injury as these are very safe and you will see noticeable improvements. Yoga is another fantastic way to activate the secondary heart. There are many poses in yoga which can be useful. A downward dog is one of those. Calf stretches against the wall. Even using lunges and simple standing stretches also help to lengthen the calf muscle and stimulate circulation. And when you combine movement along with mindfulness and meditation, so these all things also help to reduce stress which indirectly affects your circulation. If you wish, you can still add further variety through climbing stairs. Climbing stairs also engages the calves in a natural repetitive way. But it may not be suitable for everyone. But for those of you who still want to make the calf muscles stronger, Make sure that you climb the stairs and do not take the lift wherever possible. These practical tips that I said help to activate your secondary heart. These are easy, achievable and suitable even for people with busy lifestyles. Now coming to an important question. Are exercises enough to activate your secondary heart? Well, not exactly. There are so many lifestyle measures which are simpler, but they also have an important role to play. And the first of these is hydration or water intake. Remember, regular water intake is vital for maintaining healthy circulation. And when you drink adequate amount of water, your blood remains less viscous and flows smoothly through arteries and veins. And when you combine your daily calf activation with hydration, both your heart and your secondary heart both will work much more efficiently. The second lifestyle measure is to maintain a healthy weight because excess weight gives more additional pressure not just on your veins but on your muscles as well. And this can be one of the factors which will reduce the blood flow and increases the possibility of developing venous insufficiency. The third lifestyle measure is a balanced diet. Yes, when we say balanced, it means it's a mix of fruits, vegetables, fiber and protein. And when you take a balanced diet, you end up having less inflammation, you have better vascular health. These factors also support the function of your secondary heart. Another important factor is your daily habits. Apart from the exercise, if you are sitting for longer periods or maybe sitting with cross leg, these also can compress your veins and reduce your blood flow. When you are resting, Try to keep your legs elevated. If, if you're sitting, you can keep them elevated on a chair in front of you. When you're sleeping, try and keep your legs elevated over a pillow or a mattress. These factors are more useful for 
people who are standing for longer periods. Even during rest, when you elevate your legs, it may be when you are sitting or when you are sleeping, when you keep your legs elevated, gravity also helps in improving your leg circulation. So all these factors together would help your calf muscle to be better activated. For people who are recovering from surgery or for seniors, they can use gentle methods which I described along with short daily walks. These all are important to prevent further complications. Remember that even slow but consistent movements will strengthen the secondary heart and enhance blood flow, showing that it is never too late to start caring for your legs. Along with the activation, remember some amount of stretching, flexibility, that also plays an important role to reduce the stiffness. So make sure you do some stretching before and after exercising as well. Now looking at the bigger picture, see when the secondary heart works efficiently, it reduces the workload on your main heart. The circulation is efficient when blood doesn't get pulled in the legs. It goes easily to the heart and that improves the heart function as well. And for your legs, it does reduce the fatigue and improves your venous stasis. So remember, activating your calves is not about intense workouts, but gentle, consistent movements are much more effective than occasionally done strenuous exercise. People who already have existing vascular problems like artery blockages, they can combine calf activation along with the doctor prescribed medicines. Some people who have venous problems will also feel better when they use stockings along with these exercise methods. And when you combine the things, exercise or calf activation, lifestyle changes, stockings wherever required, then you will find that the vein health will be much better. Young and healthy individuals also would benefit from activating the secondary heart. And regular care can prevent problems in the future. The problems may range from chronic swelling, fatigue or varicose veins. So, Think of your calves as an investment in your long-term health, providing lighter, more energized legs and improving your overall quality of life. And talking of leg muscles, you must have heard about the saying, death starts in your legs. Yes, it's true. And in this video, I have explained this concept in detail.